Hello, Shade Tree Mechanics. Welcome to the Shade Tree Mechanics Garage. I'm your host, Jim, and I'm here with my 56 Plymouth Belvedere. And um, the cruising season here in Central Kentucky is just about done. And um, I'm uh, trying to get the bravery up to, <laughs> to tackle the uh, rust repairs that uh, the old girl needs. Uh, they aren't extensive. Uh, I don't know if you follow Bad Chad or not. He uh, recently redid a 56 uh, Plymouth Savoy, and he put in new quarters and uh, just made extensive rust repairs, including a completely new fabricated floor from scratch. Um, my, my hat is off to him for that. But um, I wanted to show you this little device I have. It's a paint film gauge and it's pretty damn cool so let me uh, get it out of my pocket and out of its little little baggie here and i will show you what it uh, and this is uh right here this is what it looks like well it comes in this bag with a <laughs> with a uh, image of what it is i guess it could say paint film thickness gauge but instead it shows you what it looks like all right let's get this dude to work all right all right, let's get this dude to work. All right. All right, we're here on the front fender of the Plymouth. Now, now I, let me tell you, I know little about the... Uh, all right. Let's see, are we doing... All right, there we go. Now... The paint film is eight mils thick, which um, is a little, it, which is probably not bad for a single stage paint job. Now, what's interesting is uh, you get into areas where there's a large coating of a large area of um, like a skim coat of Bondo. Let's get down here on the fender, shall we? It's eight mils there. And eight mils there. Let's go on down to the doors, shall we? All right, we're here in the middle of the of the Plymouth door, and let's see what we get here right above the twelve mils. So it's either additional paint or just a, a, a extra primer surfacer. All right, now let's get way down here on the door. All right, what do we see here? What do we get? 10 mils. We got 10 mils there. That's not so bad. Now, let's go down here a little bit to where I know we have some Bondo and uh, bad rust repair. Let's go way down here to the bottom. All right, what do we got? <laughs> Overload. That can't be right. Let's look up here. 10 mils here, that's okay. Now, let's get down here on the... Hmm. Overload. 62 mils. Bondo City. All right, so... <clears throat> now, you can look at that area and you can see it is... Uh, there. It may not be as apparent to you, but it's, uh, it's pretty wavy. Uh, and you can see some rust bubbles right here in the bottom corner of my door. Let's check right about there. Yeah, 44, 44 mils. So that tells me that uh, there was a rust repair there in the past and that they didn't replace the metal. They simply uh, filled it full of body filler or some other uh, maybe fiberglass filler. And uh, the rust... And as you can tell, the rust repair is uh, failing. All right, but let me tell you, this little paint gauge, this little paint gauge is available from, um, I can't say the name of it, but it's a handy little unit. It's really cheap. It was like 20 bucks or a little more. Um, I'll uh, try to put the exact cost in. Uh, this is the second one I have. The first one got mislaid because it's a small unit. And um, if you've got a busy shop with a lot of junk in it, like mine, 
Um, you know, like mine, it's easy to see it. It's easy for it to disappear, as my daughter used to say. Well, that's going to be it from the Shade Tree Mechanics Garage. I hope, uh, hope you all were doing well. And we'll see you at the next installment. Maybe I'll get a grinder out and, uh, and uh, well, actually, actually the first job on this, this thing is gonna be to take the chrome off because as you might expect, this dark blue hides a lot of, a lot of stuff. And there is bits of surface rust popping up all along this trim and especially beneath it, especially beneath this trim, as you see. So I've got to get the trim off. There's got a lot of work to do. Uh, other than some rust repairs and some spots, uh, nothing, too, uh, nothing too major. But I say that, and I'm jinxing myself. All right, and see, uh, now I got another little, episode, little something going on down here at the bottom of this door. More rust. And look how that door does not line up very well at all. So a little, uh, maybe some uh, hinge issues there to deal with. And of course, got some rust, uh, rust popping up there too, which is not unusual on these old, uh, these old Plymouths. These cars, uh, despite how much we might love them, these cars were not exactly well, uh, well undercoated. And um, in the northern climates, they rusted really bad. And even in uh, southern climates, they tended to have rust, rust problems. I've seen some really, really bad ones. Fortunately, this one isn't so bad, I think. We'll see, though, when I dig into it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on the Shade Tree Mechanics Garage.